Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Kyle and you're watching Successful Archie Student. I recently had a friend of mine from university ask, how do I export a model from Revit and import it into SketchUp? It's a really simple task, but every single video on YouTube is always 10 minutes long and it doesn't need to be. So let me just quickly show you how to do that right now. So let's jump straight into Revit. We've got this model here of a multi-story building. And the first thing to notice is that we're in a 3D view. So when exporting your model from Revit, you want to be in a 3D view. And the second thing to notice is that everything that is in the view is going to be exported. And that includes this section box and all of these level markers. And we really don't want these things to show up in our SketchUp model. So what we can do is go ahead and hide these things. So I can untick the section box to the side here. Then all I have to do to hide these level markers is just right click it hide and view category. As you can see, this 3D model is now looking a lot cleaner and we can export it. So before exporting your model, it might be worth considering isolating different parts of your model to make it a bit easier uh, in SketchUp. So this might include isolating the walls from the floors and the, the roofs and all of the furniture inside the model. For demonstration's sake, I'm just going to leave the model as one um, massive model and it's a pretty bad workflow habit. So try to get in the habit of isolating your walls, putting them in different groups, putting them in different layers, and it would just make life a lot easier for you. So to export your model, you want to go to file, export CAD format, DWG. And you don't really want to be doing this for every single time you want to export. So what you can do is assign a hotkey for this task. And to do that, all you have to do is go to file, options, user interface, keyboard shortcuts, customize. And we're just going to type in DWG and I like to assign a shortcut control E because E for export just makes it a bit easier. Go ahead and press assign. You can click OK. And now when we get out of all this, we hit control E. It just brings up this export option straight away and it's much easier, much better workflow. And this is where it gets a bit tricky for people because they start to miss this really vital, important piece here. So we go to export. What you want to do is just scroll down until you hit options, export setups, DWG, DXF. And you want to go ahead and click on solids and turn this into an ASIC solid. Then you can go ahead and click OK. And then this is going to help export your model in the right file. So now we can just go ahead and click Control E. This brings up the screen straight away. Hit next. And we want to say this is an AutoCAD 2007 DWG file. It might be a bit counterintuitive because it's the older versions, but this is what we need for the file. So we can go ahead and save this and give it a name. We'll just go file three, click OK and this should start exporting our model. So the main idea here is to make sure your model's nice and clean. It's all grouped up and nicely layered just to make your workflow a bit faster, a bit easier for yourself. Make sure your DWG settings for exporting is set to ASIC solids. And then once you're exporting your file from Revit, make sure you're exporting to AutoCAD 2007 DWG. So now we can go ahead and move into SketchUp, click File Import, and we can just find where we've saved this file using the drop down menu, go into AutoCAD Files DWG, and we'll just go find that one we just saved. Again, the file size is gonna determine how long it takes to import into SketchUp. Really do try to keep that file size down. Yeah, this file is way too big. <laughs> Two hours later. And so there we have it. There is our model. And it's all done. There you have it, everyone. I hope that was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this video. That is how to export a model from Revit and import it into SketchUp. I wish you all well and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.